Can you replace your normal LG television remote control with the LG factory service remote control? Also, while operating the LG factory service remote control, can you use both the factory service remote control and the normal LG TV remote control? Hello there, my name is Dominic and today I'm going to answer both of these questions. Also, I'm going to tell you why it's not a good idea to leave your LG factory service remote control near children or people who do not know how to use the LG service remote control. This is video number 8 on the LG service remote playlist of videos on my YouTube channel. Before I go on, I would like to mention something about the 7th video that talked about the instop button. The instop button can also be used to bypass any passwords on your LG televisions. It does not matter if it's a smart TV or a digital TV or an analog TV. Whatever the password is, the instop will bypass that password. I had made another video on how to reset your LG smart TV using your normal remote. But if you have your LG service remote, you can simply use instop to reset your LG television. Now, to answer the first question, can you replace your normal LG television remote control using the LG service remote control? The answer is yes. You can do quite a number of functions with the LG service remote control that the normal remote control will do. And such things as changing the channel, increasing or decreasing the volume, muting, manipulating the menu, using the navigation buttons, changing the input, You can see, you can replace your normal LG TV remote control with the service remote control. However, there is one function that I find that the LG service remote control does not have that I quite oftenly use, and that is the list button. The list button is used to list the channels on your television control and this makes it easier to change channels to the specific channel that you want. That's one of the disadvantages of using the service remote control instead of using your normal LG TV remote control. The other button that the LG service remote control does not have that I quite frequently use is the QView button. The QView button is used to go back to the recently viewed channel as fast as possible. For example, I can just press Q view and it will go directly to the previously tuned channel. Again, so the LG service remote control does not have the list button as well as the Q view button. The other thing that this remote control does not have is the back button the normal lg tv remote control usually has the back button as well as the exit button the lg service remote control only has the exit button it does not have the back button i have another video whereby i explain all the rules to using this lg service remote control and that is in a video titled as lg service remote control rules now in the second rule I stated that you should use the same button you started with to go back and that is because the LG service remote control does not have a back button. So can I use the back button on the normal LG TV remote control to compensate for the fact that the LG service remote control here does not have a back button? Let us try that. I will enter instat. I will use my normal remote to enter the password which is 0. Four, one, three. For this purpose, I will use the power of status to demonstrate. Now, I will press the back button to see if the highlight over here will go back to this sub menu. 
and everything has gone. So in the Insert menu, using the Back button is the same as just using the Exit button. I will advise that you use the same button that you started with, so the rule has not changed. So from this Insert menu, I will also I will just press the same same button, the Insert button. And it has taken me back comfortably. To the second question, can you use both the LG service remote control as well as the normal LG TV remote control to manipulate the hidden menu on the LG television? The answer is yes, and I will show you. I will press Instart using the LG service remote control, and I will use my normal remote control to enter the password 0413. By now, you know all the rules for using this remote control. So you can see it's easy. I can also use my navigation to check some things. I can also check the power off status. I can go down. I can go up. Let me try another button. I will try adjust. I'll just press the button on the service remote control adjust. And then I will use the normal remote control to enter the password. Zero four one three and there I can manipulate this adjust menu using my normal remote control by now if you are smart enough you will notice that the only thing special about the LG factory service remote control is the fact that it has the following three buttons the Instart button, the Adjust button, and the Instop button. Why do I mention this? The only reason I bring this up is because there are applications on Google Play Store as well as iOS that take good use of this. Some of these applications are not free and the only way they work is that they, they only give you three buttons and that is the Instart, Adjust, and Instop. For everything else, you have to use your normal remote control. Lastly, I will tell you why it's not a good idea to leave this remote control near children or near people who do not know how to use the LG service remote control. And the reason is this button over here. This is called the power only button. With one press of this button, you can reset your TV. Now, if we take a look at the normal television remote control over here, I can see that the power button is located at the top left of this remote control. And so is this button. With one press of this button, you can enter what is known as power mode. Like that. And if you enter into power mode, the only way to exit is to follow the instructions over here. Press exit key and turn off with the remote control. So I press exit key and I turn off. But when I turn this television on, so when this television is on, you will, no, you will not notice anything. Everything seems fine. But there is something sinister going on with this television, and that is because it's already on power only mode. Let me try entering into Instart. You see, I did not enter any password to enter into Instart. What about adjust? Everything just comes up. So in the hands of children or people who do not know how to use this remote control, they can easily do a, a number of changes in this menu or in the adjust menu. And this will totally ruin this television. It can ruin the television to a matter whereby you need to buy a brand new motherboard because the TV will not come on anymore. The worst place to make changes is the adjust menu over here. Because these changes will be hard coded into the motherboard and any change that is not compatible with this television will damage the motherboard. This TV will not come on. I'm talking from experience. I have done it. I once changed the country group over here and it damaged the motherboard 
and I had to buy a brand new motherboard. So this remote control commands a lot of accountability and responsibility. So the only way to get out of power only mode is to do an in-stop or a factory reset of this television. The in-stop also did not ask for a password. On my remote control, any button I press will light up the LED on the P only side. I do not want that, so I will press the ETC button until the LED over here lights up. Now, the, TV, the remote control is not in power only mode and the TV will not be in power mode. So, you should take precaution while using this remote control. Thank you for watching and goodbye.